Hello, everybody. My name is Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the final of the Bespin Galactic Championship Qualifier. This is the second of eight Galactic Championship Qualifiers going in to our Battle for Alderaan Galactic Championship Final that happens in November. The top 32 of everybody who participated in this weekend's event will be playing and receiving an invite for the Galactic Championship. Today, I'm joined by my good friend, William Hagwood. Hello, thanks for having me. And James Ritter. Hi, thank you for having me. More. <laughs> Love is not a competition. Okay? Let us move on. One. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to open up the Choose Your Champion poll. Will's going to take a look at Virgil's list. James is going to take a look at Lockie's list. Thanks for joining us. Remember, if you're watching on YouTube, put it in the description down below. Who do you think is going to win this game? And this game is brought to you by our sponsors you see over there in the corner. Thanks for their help. Curl Paw Creatives, District Foundry, and Co-op Print Yards. Check them out on their websites. They're in the description down below. Let's do it. Choose your champion. Deal. I love that high energy. <laughs> Let's start with our bet one all champion here on your left. That's Virgil Hayward. Uh, flying in the underdog list. It's been a Cinderella story since Swiss. Uh, Han Solo in the customized YT-1300. Uh, he's got all the good tricks. Trick Shot, Forlom, Zam Wessel, Greedo, False Transponder Codes, and the Lando's Millennium Falcon. Loves hiding behind rocks, uh, getting bonuses to offensive and defense. Uh, has Greedo for guaranteed crits. Zam for double shots can even prevent you from spending your focus modifiers when he attacks you with four Lom crew. Uh, with him, uh, in the Fang Fighter, that's Fen Rao with Fearless, uh, a dangerous knife fighter. Uh, gets extra dice and automatic modifiers uh, when attacking and defending at range one. Then, uh, potentially the most interesting part of on uh, this scum list is uh, the two quad jumpers. That's Uncar Plut and Constable Zuvio. Uh, Constable Zuvio is rocking the Coordinate Crew Protectorate Gleb. Both of them have the Space Tug Tractor Array action to hand out tractor tokens, reducing agility and even moving uh, ships around. We've seen them use them. Um, previous games tractor beaming his own ships as well as the enemies uh, looks like they're heading off into the uh, obstacles um, to face off against uh, and on the other side of the table we have Lucky Mulkey right is it Lucky Mulkey Mulkey Lucky Mulkey Mulkey okay sorry I am terrible with names <laughs> no worries. And he has a great Republic list. Uh, has a strong backbone of three Jedi Knight Aether Sprites with the Delta 7B config, giving them an additional attack die at the cost of a shield or a, an agility die and gives them two extra shields. And their wingmate is Shock T in the Ada class Starfighter. And she has the classic auto blasters r7a7 and marksmanship combo being able to uh, do unblockable damage as long as they are not as long as she is not in the front arc of the defender so, so look we, we've seen both of these players on stream doing great things they're both eight and O, all undefeated throughout the entire event I will tell you, with some crazy games in there, we've both these players on stream have had nail biters. The like very I, end, yeah. I, I, I cannot. I'm hoping that this one is just as close because if it is, like I cannot remember three games in a row that have been as tight as uh, as the last two. Plus, if we get an exciting one right here, hmm, yeah. it's so good. 
It's even more interesting, actually, is that both of these players, um, like I said, are undefeated through Swiss, undefeated through the cut, and they have only a separation of three MOV. Ooh. They're both the number one and number two out of Swiss. Well, I'm telling you that then nobody deserves it more. Number one and two in Swiss. They fought each other from the other side of the bracket. All right, we got a little coordinate action, by the way, right there. From, some from Sven Rao. Yep, utilizing Protector at Gleb's ability to move an orange or red token to the ship coordinate. So he was able to give him the red stress, or excuse me, the red stress token. Um, that you got from the red coordinate that probably that's a little telegraph there That's probably doing a blue maneuver to just make that disappear Raven cat. I appreciate mm -hmm. the uh, the compliment saying if it's an exciting one question mark It's always exciting in GSP. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> appreciate your fam You know what I mean? I'm excited. This is this is gonna be good. We still got three minutes on the clock for your uh, Choose your champion bets. We got four hundred and thirty thousand uh, four hundred and thirty hundred thousand points um, up for grabs right now with honestly neck and neck 51 percent favorite for Virgil I mean that's barely anything go ahead get your bets in now remember if they engage we're gonna have to shut it down you don't want to be get left out every time every time I close it I see people trying to go after and here we go nope. it it's shutting down down and that's a, this is an unobstructed shot. Two on three. Can Han get anything early? Uh, nope. Nope, nope. No, not even worth spending the lock. No. Right, we'll leave the bets open. <laughs> get your so bets in, was, guys. Go ahead. That was almost a really good shot from Han. If he was just a little bit further up, he would have had an obstructed shot and been able to roll four dice instead. This is true, but it's a gas cloud, right? So you end up giving that glass, yeah. that gas cloud ability to the Jedi. He'd much rather be rolling through those rocks or debris. Yeah, but but four is bigger number than two. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, but you'd also have four then at range three obstructed. Yeah, I am just so used to seeing uh, Scum Han with Kira crew, where yeah. you lock uh, obstacles including these gas clouds and can take away their um, their bonus uh, dice and modifiers. But the combination of Kira and Zam uh, getting free locks with um, you better mean business uh, is, is not the best because you're going to be moving your locks off the obstacles. So elected to go with the four lamb crew instead. Yeah, I think Kira works a lot better with, wouldn't you know it, Lando crew. Lando. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lando crew and Kira crew are uh, are fairly fairly good. Uh, also, IGD crew uh, mm -hmm. pretty good. Being able to spend uh, either of those calculates for rerolls. Looks like we're getting set on the left side. Now, Fenrau's positioning, I find it kind of interesting. You know, we did see two games ago during the top eight. Uh, Fenrau not get an ideal approach. And this feels a little bit similar. I feel like you can get hung out at range two pretty easily right now. What do you guys think? Uh, I, I think with Constable Zubio being an I-4, moving after all of uh, Lockheed's ships, with that coordinate action, um, he's going to be able to give Finn a 100% uh, knowledge coordinate. That's very true. Great point there, James. Yeah, th that includes repositions, right? So you can point mm -hmm. Finn in any direction with a boost. Yeah, I would assume that the our left side of that bottom glass cloud, gas cloud would be safer. Uh, but Shock 2 is the wild card back there and uh, in the rear flanks. Just waiting uh, for that auto blaster opportunity. The yeah, real. No, nothing that Finn can do about that. No. The real no Jeff Sanders. Saving you from that. In the chat asking, do you think there's any time zone advantage at play here? Uh, in Melbourne, it is 15, 15 right now. It's, a, it's basically midday. You know, right now for uh, for for Lackey, Lackey's where again? What state? 
Do, you know, do we know off the top of head? Um, so, so, it I'm was a Kansas? Sure. I think it was Kansas. So he's in amount of time. It's 11.14 p.m. over there. I mean, if they're a night owl, they, they might be in peak form right now. No, Lockie's the Aussie. If Lockie's the Aussie. Lo, okay, Lockie, Lockie's the Aussie. Then Virgil. Virgil then is, a, is in Kansas. He's in central time. I mean... Oh, so it's only midnight. I, it's only no, oh, it's only midnight. I will tell you, I do my best work from like eleven thirty <laughs> to one thirty in the morning. So yeah, let's man, really in the zone. Mm hmm. Okay, We're gonna take the sloop here. Maybe trying to anticipate Fenral coming in fast, getting a little bit of distance. Too straight. Now, a three bank from Fenrau looks delicious right now. You might be able to catch two Jedi at range one. Scooping up a lock, probably on Fen would be my guess. And the answer is yes. Shock T trying to line up some shots here. Man, that auto blaster is so dangerous. <laughs> yeah, with that R7, A7 droid, it really is auto blaster. It will just crit. Oh, especially against Han, right? Who isn't a, a ship that normally fires at the front arc, usually uh, firing at the side. That the auto blaster mm -hmm. could really be a big difference maker later on in the game. Yeah, we're going to see what... So one card just bumped. Going to buy his turn. Or buy a turn here. Uh, and then engage the Jedi. Zuvia is turning away. Fight's over here, buddy. Well, he may just want to keep uh, him around over there to help coordinate Han, too. Yeah, he probably's not trying to cut off Han's one forward or two forward behind, behind that rock. Mm -hmm. Coordinate. We got the coordinating. Might just get Fen out the way. And there's the boost forward. Oh, is he getting the five? The five might end up catching green at range one. It's close. No. He, he, oh, is he, yeah. He could do the five if he's already linking it now. Just say stressed. Han, infinitely close to that. Ooh. Asteroid. Little hop, skip, and a jump off that asteroid. Takes a focus and has a nice trick shot on the yellow Jedi Knight. Two straight. Sitting out at range two right now of the green Jedi Knight. Yeah, pr probably just a barrel roll then. Dodge yeah, a couple arcs. Forward. Yeah, easy. Barrel roll avoids the arc, so an uncontested shot. Han Ooh. doing his thing. So we got a couple things at play. Additional yeah, die. And Han. And, yep. Hit, hit, crit. Has a focus. Going to go ahead and modify that. Greedo, an additional crit. Three agility for the Jedi. And, oh, Ooh, my goodness, blanks, blanks out. out. Rip the shields wow. off. Slap a crit on it. This Jedi going to need a band-aid because he's on fire with a structural damage. Oh, Huge attack there from Hom. <laughs> Han said, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Fenral yes, is no schlub either. Two hits might be spending the focus for a third. And the answer is yeah. yes. Yeah, he should be out of most shots there. And another More blank blanks. out. Rip the shields. <laughs> Jedi, you got force. Try to use it defensively. <laughs> <laughs> somebody get the Neosporin because somebody's getting cut up over here. All right. Yellow Jedi Knight trying to take some shots on the Han. The Han is range three from his arc. Yeah. I... Uh, he's just not going to shoot. Oh, no, no, he'd... no. Sorry. He's got to shoot I force first. Yeah. I force first. Shakti does have a range three unobstructed on the Fenrao at the moment. Spends for two. Fenrao has no defensive tokens. Natty's out. Oh. Mm, even burnt an R7A7 charge there to try to 
to get that crit through. Now's the Jedi Knight. Yeah, so Han would have range, obstruction, and Han's ability for a total of four at range, three obstructed. Yep. Or Han's ability, by the way, this is while you defend or perform an attack, if the attack is obstructed by an obstacle, roll an additional die. Works on both offense and defense. I mean, I feel like you go for Ankar. Just try to get those squad numbers off the board. The obligatory line, from my perspective, the Jedi are evil. <laughs> now remember, uh, Brimhorn Battalion, range 2 is the range limit for the auto blasters. So, unable to do those shenanigans, so that's why those were blockable. But if that was range 2, that would have been a sad fen round, would have been taking a crit. Alright, so this is into Han. I got 3. Han used the focus, so there's no defensive token. Looking for natties. Here we go. And is going to be able to dodge two of them. First shield done on Han. Does trigger Zam. Says you should thank me. Scoops up a lock and adds a charge to Zam Wessel. Yep, going to be another... Range yep. three attack. Yep. Spend the force for three. Same amount of uh, defense dice. And same result. One more damage. One more charge on Zam. And it looks like the target lock probably getting placed on yellow. Okay. There we go. Yeah. Yellow is structural now. So it's the next target to go down. Man, Han with those four evades. Uh, looking pretty good compared to these Jedi. Oh, oh yeah. Blanks. Unkar Plutt trying to do some work here. Blanks out. Alright, that's round then. Grab Venus says, meanwhile, the Jedi can't get any squiggles. Turns out the factory's <laughs> all out of spaghetti. Yeah, they couldn't even, it's not even looking for squiggles. They're looking for just uh, focus results, too. Anything. Yeah, any, any, kind, any kind of not blank result would be great. <laughs> Jedi uh, need so to hit. actually really. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jim. Nope, nope, go. All right, I was just going to say that uh, unlike the the uh, trap that Fenro had found himself in in the top eight game. I think he's got a good lane right now. Um, as long as he can avoid the block from green and that auto blaster from shock T. Do you think maybe yellow is going to get in conversion behind him, or are they going to separate their forces? I, I would. I think this is your opportunity to try to get some shots on Fenrau. Han is clearly going towards the top of the board. You're going to have to deal with Unkar coming towards the bottom. But you could probably, with some effort, get all four of the Jedi Knights involved in trying to take out Fen Rao. James, what are your thoughts? Man, that, with, the, with that round, how that went down, um, oh, that was such a rough dice round. Like, the, this, the, uh, with Finn being able to dodge both yellow and green Jedi Knight arcs, and Han being able to put out a massive amount of damage onto yellow for basically for free. I mean, he took two shields on Han, but that's putting four damage and structural damage onto the yellow Jedi Knight. That guy's done. Um, I think. Oh, man. He's. Virgil's going to have to make a lot of mistakes if uh, Lockie wants to come back from this one. Just uh, in, in response to people, false transponder codes did end up getting flipped there. Well, good. The token had already been spent. There was nothing nothing there. So they just they just flipped the, uh, the charge. We all good in the hood. By the way, if you want to become a patron, get some awesome Alphabet Squadron swag coming out in July. 
Got to become a patron before June 28th. Here we go. Waiting for those dials. A uh, yellow still has a lock on on solo. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. I think he had, I think he had taken a focus this round. Well, I don't I don't know when the false transponder codes went off. Oh no, it would have been on green that the false transponders went off on. But that was last round. That was the first round. Oh, when Han acquired a lock on him? Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. All right, cool. We that good? Makes sense. Everything's fine here. Oh, flips all his dials at once. Don't give up all the goodies, little Jedi. And there is a little intuitive controls barrel roll. The Zam guard gets put out during the system phase. On car plot banking two. Slap down a focus. Just getting in the way of the Jedi. Getting ready to threaten. And it looks like we are converging on Fen Rao. The Jedi Knight able to make that two turn with a little bit of daylight in between the gas cloud and itself. Now waiting on an action. Do not boost. This is not the way. Take a lock. This is the, this is the this is what you. Oh. Boost. I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, rounds unstressed. Uh, so it could go really anywhere. It could 4K. You don't know. I'm I'm not a fan of the boost there. I think that could be a mistake. You could also just trying to be getting away from Han. I mean, yeah, you're right. He dodged on car plus shot. You're right. And yellow is quite hurt. Now, what are these locks doing? They're moving locks around. Oh, he thought Hans. Oh, uh, because he his locks on Fen Realm. That's what uh, he tried to pull. He pulled the wrong lock. Green Jedi Knight ends up bumping into the yellow one. All right, now that that hot mess is done. <laughs> Target locks everywhere. So are these the oh, final yeah, positions? Let's... We're good. Jedi Knight has it on Han. And Han uh -huh. has it on the yellow Jedi Knight. Yeah, it should be all correct. Got it. All right. Uh, Shakti turned in, trying to cover um, Finn Round's escape route. Gets yeah. a I like boost the boost here. That's pretty solid. I mean, if Finround does 4K, you should catch him in Auto Blaster. We'll Zuvio taking the two right bank. Bumping a little. There you go. Using uh, using the quad jumper as a stop pseudo stop maneuver for Han. Mm, Finround turned out. Does not want to mess with this auto blaster. Oh, he's going to have to boost to get out of range, too, because right now he is squarely in that bullseye. <laughs> yeah, that's a, not the place you got to be. Yeah, might have to link it here, too. Yeah. Yeah, there's going to have to. Don't risk it. Take the defensive token. And here's Han. Another four die shot going at the yellow, excuse me, the red Jedi Knight. I really like Lockie's move there with the pseudo stop swings, hit, hit, crit, and hit, crit going to the shields, two shields down. Red Jedi Knight will get to retaliate in a little bit, but not until after Shakti gets her shot from downtown. Two on four. Comes up empty. Then this is not worth spending the force on. Green Jedi Knight doesn't. Uh, oops, no, sorry. It is not their turn quite yet. But Zuvio. Zuvio, one hit. This is unobstructed. Safe. And now we move on to those Jedi Knights. Firing on Uncar. Range three has a force available. That could be two. 
Gonna go ahead and spend it. Staying aggressive. And two evades. Red Jedi Knight has a shot at Han. It is through the rock, so it's gonna be an additional die for Han. Hit, hit, crit. Doesn't need the target lock. Rolls the natties. Mm. And we are going to get under the shields. That's a shield yeah. and a crit. What do we get? It's Waiting. Going, man. The damage sensor array. Damage sensor array. Not too bad. Han is going to be able to still focus. It is repairable. That's uh, you better mean business. We're getting in a bonus attack against Red. Another four dice shot coming in from Hum. Unmodified, but still has four dice, and that Jedi Knight still has a force. Was able to push through two damage earlier. Here's the bonus attack. Yeah, we see. We saw earlier that he is um, loath to spin those charges, but he's uh, choosing to do it here. I mean, four dice, right? Oh, got Ooh, the hit, hit, crit. Form. Probably going to get at least one. Gets two. Oh, these hit. Jedi greens are making me real sad. And takes a panic Damn. pilot there on the Jedi. Oh, Han with his uh, Lando's Millennium Falcon is licking his lips at that. Mm, blah, blah, blah. And that yellow Jedi, <laughs> Jedi Knight doesn't mm -hmm. have a shot. Unkar Plut trying to maybe put the nail in the coffin on this red Jedi Knight. I mean, he has a shot on green. I guess you could go there as well. But Hit crit. Hey. Oh, my goodness. Unkar going to dig in another crit. Yeah. Another crit on the panicked one. And that's a whole breach. It's irrelevant okay. at this point, but that is just another damage card. Oh my goodness. These Jedi. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, they're just taking so much damage. They can't... I mean, they're getting a couple of dodges here and there, but it's not enough. Wait snaps, no, I guarantee nothing. Not. We continue here. Yeah, it is, it's a, it is definitely tough. Right now, uh, for for Locky, he is fighting an uphill battle. His current score seventy five to zero, and you are down. All all your shields are gone. There there are no yeah. shields left on his side of the board. No. Uh, yeah, and has he even touched friend round? And even if you could keep converging on him while Han flies away or whatever, uh, it's going to take quite a bit to pin him down. And now you got to really protect Red, who's on one health. Mm, it was, it like was the Red one anywhere. who took that damage, right? Yeah, it's Red. Yeah, okay. Everything's fine there. Yeah, I don't think Red has an option because I can see Zubio and Han just hold hands over there for another round. Mm -hmm. And the Jedi Knight, I don't think, has a maneuver that gets out of Han's arc then. I agree. Probably he's going to get Tractor Beam too, so really not going to be able to get out of Han's M arc. Maybe, maybe you just step on the gas. Because if you get tracked, five forward. yeah, five forward and hope that you clip, clip I think, his I think corner. Five forward sounds bad idea. Yeah, the thing is though that is that Uncar can just um, barrel roll him to the left or right before he does that five forward. Well, I mean, if you barrel roll, so you just rotate and head towards Finn with the rest of your buddies. Yep, well, that's true. Man, it, I, it doesn't help really that uh, Virgil here has like the most optimal uh, initiatives as well. Yeah. So he's at that initiative two to get the pre-move tractors. 
-hmm. And then he's at initiative four to give um, the, po the four post moves, yeah, or, or the post move tractor, and then the two i sixes to put the nail in the coffin. Hi, Chris. Yes, I 100% agree. Like that is, he's got all the tools available and has got the luck on his side. It is. Uh, this is it is the time and here we go we have that quad jumper scooting up here on the red jedi knight dropping the tractor with the pinpoint tractor away array are we going to get any movement i think i would leave him yeah he's just leaving there five forward whatever <laughs> fake out i didn't move you <laughs> that's always that's always the the worst of like trying to call your opponent moving you mm -hmm. trying to they're they're they already got you at that point if you're already thinking of well, where they're moving you oh man you're losing the fight because they had the option to toss them on top of the cloud right but uh not right. gonna go ahead and do that i mean structure structure one hole McClunky in the chats with with the lulls here says, "Guys, I think Jedi are a little underpowered. What do we think?" Underpowered, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean he agility? did make it Come here <laughs> undefeated. No, two agility is trash. If you're down three agility, <laughs> are you even playing the game? Rule, new rule across the, the whole game. Everybody gets plus one agility. All right. Taking a boost here. I don't think it's a good idea. I, I don't either, unfortunately. You really want to take range two shots. You're giving Fen a little bit more space to be able to just barrel roll into range one, be able to activate the Concordia face off there. Ooh, uh, it, it, that's the here. reason why. It's because of Shakti. <laughs> there you go. Now that makes more sense. Get that bear roll in there. It says, hey, you want you want to attack this green, <laughs> attack this green Jedi? I got an outer blaster for you. Yeah. So either take the free auto blaster damage, or you get a good shot on green. Mm hmm. Spending the force? No, no, not not spending the force. That's a lie. Barrel rolling behind yeah. the rock to try to guarantee the auto blaster. I like this. Wow. Just have those intuitive controls to barrel roll around it. Mm hmm. I mean, you've committed three of your uh, your five ships, excuse me, three of your four ships to try to get Fen. You better do some damage over there. Because these uh, these quad jumpers are doing some work right now to your Jedi Knight. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, remain there. I wanted to break apart and uh, let Zubio come in for the kill. Give him a piece of the action. Fen keeping it nice and simple with the two right turn. There's the oh, boost. No. As expected. Might not have arc. Oh, yes, oh. he does. He does. He does. He's sitting in bullseye, though. Marksmanship. That is true. Han, Ooh, seeing if he can clean up this ship right here. Yep, unobstructed, but the stress giving him that third die. Spends a focus for two. Three to the crit. Will this be the end for the Red Jedi Knight? It's yes. <laughs> it's Not another blank. blank. Oh. And that's a direct Good hit. Goodness. Insult to into injury there at the end. Not just dead. Super dead. And we have Fenral here. Range one into the green Jedi Knight. Looking for a big swing. This one has only three health left. Yeah. Five paint does it, Fen Round. Get it done. Well, he has Fearless, too, so he doesn't even need all five four, paint. Four paint does it, Fen Round. Get it done. Oh. And oh. that's it. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> the humanity. <laughs> Green Jedi taken out off the board. Uh. Denied. Why? All right. <laughs> 
Uh, it's down to just the structural damage of Twelfth <laughs> Jedi. But we have full shock T here. B Auto Blaster Bullseye uh, only has one force available as the only offensive mod here to convert the dice. And so yeah, doesn't need it. Two crits yeah, on Fenrau, guaranteed. All right, just take him. Uh, Fenrau right, did his job. Some luck here. Stunned, no big deal. Stunned and damage Ooh. engine. Damage engine being a little damage bit more problematic. Engine. And oh. nothing there. <laughs> what is happening? It's called destiny, James. Oh, it is destiny <laughs> for <laughs> for the uh, the space thugs to win. <laughs> yeah, I mean the space thugs are untouched right now. Sure, Finn Round just got halved, but there's no there's not even. Uh, I want to say any any crits on them, no damage, no nothing. Well, I want to remind I mean, everybody, as we wind down here, the Galactic Championship Best Spin Qualifier, that we have six more of these. Sorry, we have six more of these in the series. You can go to goldsquadronpodcast.com to get your tickets. Check out dates. Our next one is happening during the Argentina time zone. It is the Lamu Qualifier. And that is happening June 26th. It is a hyperspace event. It is a hyperspace Ooh, hyper event. Space. So for those of you who prefer the hyperspace meta, there's an opportunity for you there. Or if you just want another opportunity to get a crack at that top 32 so that you can get a invite to the Galactic Championship qualifier, excuse me, Galactic Championship finale, you can get your chance right there. Of course, we also have those target locks available. Only 100 per qualifier. So get yours now. We'll see you on June 26th. And by the way, for any of us uh, Americans out there, if you're confused on the time zones for Buenos Aires, it is just one time zone east into the ocean past Eastern time. So it's very accessible for those of you in the Western Hemisphere. Fast Walker set Atlantis time, pretty much. The official time zone numbers is R A R T or U T C minus three. Will there be a qualifier in Brazilian time? I mean, that would be. I mean, we don't have an event specifically based off of a city in Brazil this year. Maybe next year. But, I mean, the mountain time for Colorado will probably work for you guys. But I've been trying every single one of these events. I've been uh, moving the cities to kind of honor our different, uh, honor our different, um, you know, different communities. So, I'm, I am very aware... <laughs> Of where I have and have it. Ooh, got a crit there. Antarctica X-Wing one day. Yes, I'll do. <laughs> we can do an Ant Antarctica time zone one. That's how we can all travel to Antarctica together. It's through our X-Wing time zone. All right, and we are waiting for these dials to get set. Oh, they're moving. All right. And Uncar Plut ends up on mm -hmm. there. Shock T. Trying to get in the way of Fen Rao. Protect. If Fen Rao flies past you, you can do those auto blaster shenanigans again. Yeah. 
the real Jeff Sanders trying to set up a sick burn on Nobby. I'm not. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spike that one. <laughs> Fenrau taking the two turn, avoiding the auto blaster. There is potentially in arc of the yellow Jedi Knight. In yes, it. Oh, that's close. I think it is, is just a bit outside. Waiting for the call here. It's also yeah, looking at the barrel roll. Shock <laughs> barrel roll into shock tease arc is a really bad decision. Yeah, just I think you just focus. I mean, yeah, you could you could focus boost and maybe get behind some gas club. Or excuse well, me. Well, he doesn't he, he doesn't want to link it because he has the damage engine. Ah, oh. you're correct. Ooh, but he will. Yeah, figure it out. Get a tugboat to move you. Toot toot. <laughs> toot toot. Here <laughs> <laughs> uh, you go, oh. Fenrau. He's a little barrel roll. Speaking of barrel rolls, these are uh, this is Uncar Plutz ability requiring tractor beams here. Mm -hmm. Got so some barrel rolls. Barrel roll. Two barrel and two rolls. Barrel roll. And that oh, puts both of them man. having arc on shock T. Here we go, range two shot. Yeah, she uh, she had to use her last force to bear roll. And one hit. Leaning on those three agility has an evade, so should be okay from this first shot. Does and healing. doesn't need to spend the evade, which is a bigger deal. No, he, he only rolled two. He's rolling the third now. It was an evade. For some reason, his third dice didn't roll. Jedi Knight trying to plink away some damage on Fen. This would be a three on four shot. Two crits. Looking scary. We don't want to blank out here for Fen. And Ooh. gonna take a crit. Double <laughs> damage calls it. There it is. And there it is. <laughs> wow. Direct Locky hit. Back in the game. Fen Rao taken out. That does bring Locky into striking existence. 123 to 71. Wow. One crit, crit on looking at Shock T, but the evade will do it. That sounds good every time. Uh, <laughs> just, just roll two and then roll an extra in there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, it's working. It's working. <laughs> it so worked. I couldn't save the evade because you ran out of force. Um, you had to have the force charge available before at the start of the end phase. Um, before any charges get placed back. So tokenless for now. And got two quad jumpers just looking at you. Going to put you wherever they want. But here's the big brain. Do you barrel roll with intuitive controls towards them to try to Ooh, block them up? There you go. You get that get in the way. 4K. And that, that might set up a good uh, auto blaster. I like that. I like that. If you could take out the quad jumpers before having to deal with Han again, that would be ideal. Then you could have a ship and a half available. Well, a ship and a quarter. <laughs> mm, yeah. <laughs> From a certain point of view, yes. <laughs> it like, has no wings. It's just flying in a straight line. Couple people calling for the quad jumpers to ignore Shakti going after the yellow Jedi Knight. I mean, that's definitely an idea. Yeah, so with structural damage, two health left. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are two attack dice. Uh, I actually could put through some damage. Here it is. He, Intuitive he control. Is do it. Air roll. Trying to find what's the best one. Going to go ahead as far backwards as possible. Trying to block up the quaddies. What do we get? And nope. Uncar is going to be moving forward. 
Takes a focus. That is focusing down that yellow Jedi Knight. Here comes the red one here in a little bit. Jedi Knight yellow. Going to be able to boost out of the arc. No problem there. We did see the force get flipped. There it is. There's the boost. Yeah. Fine tune controls. Mm -hmm. Safe for now. For now. And there Ooh. is the 4K. You called it, James. Setting up a potential auto blaster on Unkar if he's got the range two. And Constable Zubio bumping into the back of Unkar sets up Unkar's ability. We can just get them both mm -hmm. to double barrel roll to their left yep. and likely double out of range of Shakti. Roll. The tractor beam is with Unkar. The shenanigans you can do. Mm, Unkar. Unkar's ability. Yeah, def definitely, definitely Unkar. Because that is not Table a May effect. ability. That is a must. Oh, no. that is a must. So barrel forward with one, barrel backwards with the other. Should be easy. That's smart use of these uh, quad jumpers. Uh, purposely bumping so you can wait until after you see where the Jedi Knight moved. Also gets him now out of auto blaster range. And gets them shots on that yellow Jedi Knight. No, we're going for Zubio here. Two on two. Nothing. Yeah, this should be it for the Jedi Knight. It's only one agility. Uh, Danny Pants, just a, just a quick clarification. Uh, this, they have to acknowledge each of the phases. So if somebody turns on an arc before you get an opportunity to acknowledge the phase, that, you know, it's you, you got to acknowledge each phase. So you get the start of engagement, you drop down the tractors, doing the barrel rolls are part of the tractor, and we move on from there. Yeah, another blank from this Jedi. Man! Yeah. And Shakti's not in a great position. Nope. No, nope. stressed. Got Han coming. Barreling through the center of the board, trying to find some obstructed attacks. The squad jumpers don't care. They will just hard one and look at you. That's right. Shakti and a dream. I guess they could two sloop. They have two sloops, as I think their only turnaround maneuver. Ooh, they also oh, have reverses. Yeah, yeah reverses, yeah. And they have two sloops and 2k and one reverse banks. Mm, they do have a 2k. They sure they got a 2k? Yeah. I'll throw it up on the screen for everyone to see. Oh, I'm looking. I'm pulling. It. Wait, no, it's a two reverse. Yeah, that's uh, what I'm uh -huh. <laughs> Out, mm, that, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yet, yet. I was like two K. I was like, dang, I should have been doing two Ks with them. <laughs> no, it's 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 on Yasmi. They put it in the two spot. Mm, well, it's a two speed maneuver. Turns out. It's a negative two speed maneuver. Land Bolo yeah. dropped 20 subs, 25 20 subs sub. right there. What? Gets us to 299. Come oh, on, we're so close. Can guys. somebody get us? If somebody, one, one person's got to get us to 300 so we can give away the best pin pins. Who will be He's the, the hero? <laughs> So it's a hard one bear roll. And then we're going to see Zubio just run into him again. There you go. Ladrian. Ladrian, the put the cherry on top. We just hit that 300. A couple other folks coming in, dropping some single subs as well. He could try to boost left here and try to annoy Han. 
<laughs> you know what? If you're going to go down, you go down fight, fighting the luckiest man in the galaxy. Yeah, he does. Now that means that the tractor beams can't get dark on him, and Han will have to rotate if uh, he wants a shot. Maybe not. Really? I think he may have no. a shot. Oh, does he have him on the side? Oh, those those big old side arcs. Yeah, we'll go ahead and, and, and switch the view here so you guys can see. Who are R.I.P. Uh, uh, Han Solo is right still there. carrying around Jedi Knight locks. <laughs> <laughs> Tre treasures uh, or trophies trophies uh, okay and yeah, just, just roll just roll natties though crit two crits one hit oh my goodness with triple crit with Garrido oh. T, of course <laughs> Of course, <laughs> it, it is fitting <laughs> with the way this game has gone. Disabled power regulator and weapons <laughs> failure on the way out. So ionized and a three dice auto blaster here. Yep. One hit. Uh, so <laughs> it's be three dice. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> you take you take yours. You take them. Here's the three swings and one crit. Spend the force. Hit crit. So two crits. Using the marksmanship ability. Trying to do something crazy. I got a blank. We Take get something. Attack. Disabled power regulator. Blinded pilot. Ooh, okay. You should thank me. Sets up a target lock, but with the blinded pilot on Han Solo, won't be useful. But we saw these quad jumpers win the game once before. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Uh well, Shakti's oh, not going anywhere with that ion, so this is kind of sad to watch at the very you end. You can just here. put her on the rock, too. Oh. Yeah, you, yeah, you just move her right onto the rock. <laughs> there was also a, a disabled power regulator in there for Han. Yeah, I got it. Oh, I'm just I'm saying that for myself. Oh. I was doing the over the, oh, the, the fancy cool animations. Enemy. Yeah. Right. Animations? What? Oh, you haven't seen the animations? I, 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 I've seen them. They're wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay. I, heard, I had to listen to you, Nick Sperry you, you, talk about them for like two or three rounds about how cool they were. <laughs> he's so proud. Look, is that I a bad mean, thing? He should be. I, that is that, was a, is that a bad thing? <laughs> <laughs> that was a neutral statement. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not good or bad. Nice fact. save, Will. Nice save. <laughs> Uh, man. <laughs> you know what though? I, I know that this game uh, is ending a little rough for for Locky. Has played super well, only yeah. ending up losing a single game here in the final. I mean, if you're gonna go out, that's the way you go out. You go out big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how you do it. Mm -hmm. Gonna definitely be a competitor in the grand championship finale and also um, you know if he plays another any other qualifiers he'll tell you you know, getting so close final table super close in one of these qualifiers you could have been the champion sometimes you just become more hungry you're like man i really want that championship i was right there you were on the doorstep going for the barrel roll potentially can you rotate while ionized? There's nothing stopping you from that, right? Yeah, you can, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, right now they're talking about if he can even move him while ioned, if it's a, if it's considered a barrel roll or a move. Mm, you can't. You can do anything you want that's not an action. Yeah. Like you, or, uh, as yep. long as it's not an action. Like well, you, let's find out. Be, Here's this is this yeah. could be the game right here. A single roll could determine it, <laughs> and the answer is yes. <laughs> The crit insult to injury. Let's get some F's in the oh chat. Whole breach gosh. to end it. 
the Jedi go down here. Congratulations, Virgil Hayward. You are the Bespin Galactic Championship Qualifier winner. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.